Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi will be traveling to Washington, D.C. later this week. El-Sisi will meet with U.S. President Donald Trump. The two leaders will discuss the recent changes in U.S. policy towards the Middle East, including Trump's decision to recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights. This despite international resolutions that it is occupied Syrian land. Here's CGTN's Adel el Mahrouhi with more. U.S. President Donald Trump will host Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi on April 9. The White House says the meeting is to build upon the robust military economic ties and counter-terrorism operations. There's a lot of uh, mutual interest between the two nations. At the same time, it looks like the personal chemistry between the two leaders is working. When it comes to President Trump, uh, who known of being like compulsive and sometimes making moves that are not completely predictable, etc. Uh, uh, no leader in the world can really rely and, uh, on, on, on such a kind of relationship, strong relationship, uh, 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 for, for long or take it for granted. So that Egypt, yes, is benefiting from this good working relation with President Trump, but at the same time need to work hard to maintain this relationship. Recent developments in Middle East conflicts are expected to lead the talks, especially after the Arab summit held in Tunisia, which clearly rejected the U.S. recognition to Israel's annexation of the Golan post the 1967 war. President Sisi will go there supported by this uh, uh, consensus among Arab leaders, and this is important to be conveyed to the American uh, to the American president. The visit comes at a very important juncture because the Nessus has been uh, repeatedly talking about uh, revealing a, a, a kind of a new plan for peace in the Middle East. Frankly speaking, people in the Arab world aren't really uh, optimistic about this plan. The uh, science so far is that there, there is more American uh, support for Israel, more American denial for Arab and Palestinian rights. While the U.S. new policy in the Middle East has been escalating tension in the region, President el-Sisi wants to contribute or at least influence the so-called deal of the century, which the Trump's administration claims would resolve the Arab-Israeli conflict before it is finalized. Adel Mahrouis, CGTN, Cairo.